What's up everyone? Welcome back to some more Oxygen Not Included. This is going to be just a small little build. Uh, I was browsing Reddit earlier today and there was a question from somebody. Uh, what's the name here? Penguins are dying is the name. So I'll put, a, I'll put a link to the Reddit post in the description below if you want to check that out. But anyway, we had, kind of had some back and forth about problem he was having and um, ultimately I ended up making this system to try and figure it out uh, and I wanted to make a video rather than just post pictures because I figured I could upload it and then more people could find it and then uh, help themselves to the information if they wanted to. So basically what he's trying to do is shut off certain machinery for X amount of time, in this case three cycles, and then wait one cycle before the machinery comes back on. So that's the system we've got set up here. We've got a water clock here, which I'll explain. Um, so basically we just have a little pump here with like a thousand kilograms of water or something, something very small. You don't need a lot. Um, you could probably do with like 40 or 50. That, that's plenty to, to make this water clock. If you needed more time, you'd have to add more water, but let me explain how it works. So we pump water up through this valve here into this vent and it's just a constant pump. We never shut it off and the valve is set to 10 grams per second. So we're pumping 10 grams of water per second up here and then it drips down. Obviously there's a little bit of travel time to actually get up there, but we're not really accounting for that. And then we have a, uh, a door here, which the water is sitting on, and then a hydro sensor right above that door. So basically there, one cycle in oxygen not included is 600 seconds. So if we're pumping 10 grams per second, uh, one cycle would be 600 grams, pretty sure, or six kilograms, yeah. So six kilograms, not 600, 6,000 would be one. So six kilograms of water would be one cycle. So if we want to wait three cycles, we've got to do 18 kilograms here. So that's how a water clock works basically is uh, you use a valve to limit the water and then use a hydro sensor to measure how much water has passed. And then that gives you how, how much time has passed basically. So it's very simple to set up. Uh, we've just got two that you don't even have to power the door. Um, just power the pump and then here's the automation if I can uh, the automation's not pulling up oh because I didn't have debug enabled okay oops let me that's not what what the heck gospel what are you doing here you're not supposed to be here can I please bring up automation there all right so the automation just goes from the door to the hydro sensor. That's part of the water clock. I'll explain this uh, other stuff in a second. So this is how we delay it by three cycles. So every three cycles, this hydro sensor is going to send a positive signal down this line. Uh, and then it's going to drop the water down and reset it. So it's just going to continue us three cycles, six kilograms per cycle at 10 grams per second through the valve. That's all you really have to remember if you're not good at math. But uh, yeah, so Basically one cycle is six kilograms at 10, 10 grams per second. So the rest of this is going to be how we turn off and on the machinery. So we've got the automation signal going into the active port of a memory toggle. You can see that by it's got the little plug and then the other one's sort of got the reset thing. Um, and then that the output of that memory toggle is going to a not gate. And then that not gate goes off to the machinery. In this case, I just have a light bulb showing, you know, that it's getting shut on and off, even though we probably won't sit here long enough to watch it work. Um, anyway, so when this triggers, it drops the water, boom, it's gonna send this automation signal to this active port. The active port is gonna trigger this guy uh, into a knot, so it's gonna send a negative signal. And the way memory toggles work is when the active port gets activated, right, it, it stays on, it stays whatever is set through the active port until the reset gets triggered. Now the reset at the same time that this active port is going to get triggered, the reset is going to turn uh, into a negative signal here because we have a not gate connected to it. And then we have three filters for each set at 200 seconds. So that's two, four, six hundred seconds. So that's one cycle we're going to wait before we hit the reset, turning the uh, toggle back on and re-enabling that machinery. And I can kind of show you how it works here if we just uh, pretend to trigger this. There we go. So it's going to trigger real quickly like that. You can see it turned off the light here and now our filter gates are triggering or are counting down here. So uh, one, um, 
well, I'll, I'll do this to make it kind of fast. We'll just turn these to zero. That way we only have to wait for one filter gate. But uh, so two, four, 600 seconds. So one cycle later, after this thing goes off, it's going to trigger this stuff and turn this back on. Yeah, so this will just run indefinitely. All it needs is this tiny little bit of power for the pump here. And you know, if it does run out of power, then you're not completely screwed right away. Like if you run out of power, you've got a little bit backed up in this pipe here that will keep running through. So you're not gonna automatically, uh, you know, your water clock's not gonna get interrupted right away. So there you go, you see the light turn back on at that point. And now uh, the whole signal is reset. And you know, once the water clock hits, it's, it's uh, 18 kilograms, which is gonna be, you know, three cycles later or whatever, then it's gonna do the same thing. So. There you go, penguins are dying. Uh, I hope penguins aren't actually dying, but there you go. Hope that helped you out. Uh, I know I learned a couple things about priorities through this entire thing, so thanks for that. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I do make oxygen not included content all the time. Well, I try to anyway. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions about it or anything, leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to get to that. Thanks and everyone have a wonderful day.